Welcome back to another video guys. This video is gonna be all about sharpening bandsaw blades. I've been sharpening bandsaw blades for probably around a year and a half now, and it's it expands the life of each bandsaw blade tenfold, I'd say. I'd, I'd say the average, I was able to get at least 10 sharpenings out of a good blade like this one. Right now, I buy Timberwolf bandsaw blades. I haven't looked back, but before, I would buy Grizzly bandsaw blades, and they're kind of cheap, and I think they're like, like 20 bucks each for a big uh, 100, 175 inch uh, blade, which is what this requires. Uh, they're only 20 bucks each. Grizzly, or, and the Timberwolf is maybe 35 each, a little bit, maybe twice as much. And overall, the difference is huge. Before, the Grizzly bandsaw blades would snap. I'd say, you know, I actually had one Grizzly bandsaw blade that snapped only after a day of use. And I was only cutting up wet mesquite, so it wasn't even that hard, and it snapped. Anyway, um, eventually all my grizzly bandsaw blades snapped within within a couple weeks. Timberwolf blades, on the other hand, these guys they last months. I have three Timberwolf bandsaw blades, two one inch and one three eighths inch inch. And of all of them, I've only had one very small fracture out of a lot of use, a lot of ironwood cutting. If you guys know ironwood, ironwood is hard to cut. It puts a lot of strain on the machine and on the blade itself. Back to, uh, back to the subject at hand though. I like to sharpen my bandsaw blades probably once every, I'd say, four hours of cutting ironwood. Maybe less, maybe three hours. And that's pretty much a requirement because after a while, the, the blade itself just won't cut anymore without burning it'll leave really disgusting marks on the wood. Let's see if I can get an example of that actually. There we go. You can see every, every um, you know, maybe quarter inch, it'll start, it'll burn, and that's just not good for, for anything. It puts a lot of strain on the machine, heats up the blade, decreases the life quite a bit, and makes a pretty disgusting cut. You can't even see the real nice wood, unlike on this side, nice little burl. Usually when I sharpen a, a blade, I sharpen the back of the tooth. The back, ironically, according to this picture up on the screen, is the front of the tooth. So, I don't know what that's all about, but that's just what it's called, so I accept it. Oops. I usually sharpen the face, sorry, the back of the, uh, of the tooth with this little jig that I made. Super simple, I match the angle of a brand new blade, and that's which, which angle this is at. I get a Dremel, I get a Dremel tool with a diamond cutoff wheel run here, hose clamp it on, clamp this over here, make sure it's in line. I'll go through every like, I think it's 150 or 350 teeth and sharpen that, resume cutting, cuts better than new, you know, that's awesome. However, I've sharpened this probably around, uh, I wanna say 12 times. And after that 12th, the 12 times, the gullet of the tooth actually, it, it starts to, um, it starts to disappear. The angle of the face becomes uh, perpendicular with the actual bandsaw blade itself. At that point, it's not really scrape. It's not really cutting into the wood and, and taking away. It's more scraping, and and that makes for um, a duller blade. Doesn't cut as much. Uh, burning, heating up the blade. Lots of bad news. So, as a result, now I have to go through and I have to cut. And I have to reshape the gullet, the inside of the of the tooth. I have right here, I believe this is an eighth inch diamond honing bit. I think it's a diamond honing bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the blade off, I'm not gonna leave it on. And I'm gonna do it by hand and reshape each one of these teeth. I'll zoom in in just a second. And I'll, and I'll reshape each one of these teeth so instead of doing a scraping motion, like imagine, here, let's get a demonstration. Imagine if I got this chisel and I was just scraping against the wood like so. This creates you know, little shavings you can see, but it's not nearly as effective as if I go at an angle like this, it'll dig into the wood. It's exactly what's happening with the bandsaw blade. So let's go ahead and remedy this. Take the bandsaw, bandsaw blade off, put our little uh, eighth inch uh, honing bit in the Dremel and sharpen away. 
give this bandsaw blade a new life. Let's do that. And as you can see, these faces, they're more perpendicular to the back of the blade like this, rather than sloped upward. Why won't that focus? There we go. And as a result, I'm gonna get this, use this bit to hollow out this portion right here. Go in a little bit, kind of scrape this area, and I'm gonna go through each one, each individual tooth, starting at the weld, which happens to be, actually, it happens to be right here. I did not plan that. That's really cool. I'm gonna put a piece of tape around here so I have an idea where I am at all times. And I'm gonna go through each one, put something on the, on the, uh, on the internet for myself. Uh, something on YouTube. Okay, that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and get sharp. That's what we're looking for. Done. Finally. Yes. Ugh. That took forever. I was using an angle grinder with a grinding disc at one point. However, the angle ground, the uh, one of the bearings in the angle grinder, grinder, the, um, it went bad. It started rattling really badly. So while like, so I took a break from this at one point. I went inside and I filed a work order with Milwaukee because this is still under warranty. In fact, I made a video of buying this angle grinder uh, maybe six months ago, maybe? And it's already bad, so we'll see how Milwaukee deals with this. Um, but I did get to do some of the teeth on the blade with the angle grinder, and it worked really well. So uh, I'm going to do another video on sharpening a bandsaw blade with an angle grinder and um, show you how I do that, because it actually works pretty well. All right, let's put this blade in the bandsaw. That's how I sharpen my bandsaw blade with a Dremel tool. Oh, that, uh, that took about zoom up a little bit. Sharpening that blade took about two hours. Um, it's a long time. However, this is a good blade. It's still got some life left in it. And uh, me, and my, me and my friend are going to be uh, James. Very excited to uh, to cut tomorrow. But we're going to be doing some. Uh, Doing some milling tomorrow, some very some, some fun wood, and uh, yeah, I'm tired of this blade not cutting as well as it should. So, if you like this video, go and give a thumbs up. Um, be sure to check out some other videos. I, I, I do a lot of different videos. Um. So, hope you like this video. Go ahead and give it a like, subscribe, and a comment. We'll see you on the next video. See you next time. Bearings.